Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be fixing the oil leak on my 2009 Honda Civic. This oil is coming from the power steering hoses and this is pretty common on Honda Civics. Now, if you go out and pay somebody for this, it's going to be three or $400. This, you can do this in 30 minutes after I share this video with you. So stay tuned and let's get this oil leak fixed. So if you have a leak underneath your car and the area is right about this area here, this is either going to be your power steering O-rings or your VTEC solenoid. If you want to see the video on replacing the seal on the VTEC solenoid, I'll link that at the end of the video and in the description. But in today's video, we're going to do these O-rings on the power steering hoses. So let me see if I can get you a better view here. And up here is where those O-rings are. Hopefully you can see that. If not, I'm going to go ahead and pull the right front wheel and we'll take a look under there to see what's going on there. Um, let's get started. All right, so here's my vehicle. I didn't want to bore you by showing you jacking up the vehicle and pulling off the wheel. But what I do want to show you is safety first. So here's what I have. I have one jack right here. And then this is where you put the jack. It's a little bit thicker right here. And that's your jacking location. Um, even when you like have a flat, this is where you're supposed to jack it up. This is where you're gonna put that jack. And then over here, I just have the second jack right on the, uh, the body, I guess, right there. That's just in case somehow this one fails, which I'm sure it won't. And then here's my wheel well right there. So my next step is gonna be taking this off. And I wanna show you the jacking location. Anytime you jack up your car, this little loop right here, is the best place to get it right here. And if you look on the other side, I have a jack. That's my safety jack. I just put that up. For some reason, if something else fails and you know, over here I have a drive on ramp that's holding it out. In the back here, I've got some two by fours just under the back wheels, just in case. And my emergency brakes on and it's in park. Let's get started. All right, so here's the cover. I'm gonna pop this one out with this trim tool. And then we're gonna grab that one. Get this one out. And then we're just gonna take it and lay it down here. All right, so let me show you where it's leaking. So if you look right up here, you can actually see a little drip of power steering fluid and that's coming out of the O-ring on those hoses. So on the back side here, there's two bolts and we got to take those out. They're 10 millimeter. We're going to use a quarter inch ratchet, but let's go upstairs and drain the fluid out of the reservoir. This will make it less messy. All right, so I'm gonna drain the fluid in the reservoir. That way it'll be less of a mess. This is what I'm using. This will just suck out the fluid. And I did flush this a couple of months ago and the fluid's probably still pretty good, which it is. But I actually have an extra couple of bottles. I could have saved this and just put it back in, but I'm gonna just put another bunch of fluid in there because I have it so the reservoir is empty you may have noticed that I removed the cow you don't have to I did it for extra lighting for filming and then also when I pressure wash it when I'm done it's gonna give me a little bit more room 
But if you want to see how this comes off, I'll uh, show this at the end of the video. It'll be bonus footage. All right, so let's take off them hoses. Here's what I'm using, a 10 millimeter on a little quarter inch ratchet. So just make sure it's on the off position. Reach under, break it loose. Once it's broken loose, you can go ahead and unscrew it. Um, I've got my drain pan underneath here. When the hose comes off and all that fluid goes down, it won't make a big mess. It'll only make a little one. All right, so the next. Oh, there we go. Got right on it. Oh, uh, there we go. Let's see if it's loose. Yep. It's a little bit of an angle on your wrist, but definitely doable. God, these are long. Feels like it's almost there. All right, so there's that screw. So the other hose, I'm going to use a small extension on here. It just see if that works. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get those hoses off. Take this one off first. Oh man. And that one off second. All right, so it looks like the black one ended up staying in here. So there's the black one. All right, so let's replace this one. And then this one is going to get the orange one. And it's going to sit right here uh, on the on that little shoulder. All right. And then we're just gonna bring it over. Kind of push it in. There we go. Get our right. get a wrench. And I took these bolts out through the wheel well, but this is going to be a, clearly an easier way to do this. Okay, that one's tight. All right, as far as the other hose, let's go ahead and get this O-ring off. And we're going to replace it with a new one.
and let's just get it put in. Go. The other one in. All right, let's get these tightened up. That one's good. That one's good. So it's a lot easier to get the hoses from underneath. However, if you can't get the vehicle off the ground, you can go through the wheel well. So I showed you both ways. Good luck. All right, so I'm gonna get some new fluid in here, start it up, and then go pressure wash it and make sure it doesn't leak. This wasn't a full bottle. This was just whatever I had left over. This one here, this one's a full bottle. All right, so let's start this baby up and see how we did. Everything worked out great. The power steering pump is quiet and I have no leaks. I would definitely suggest getting those O-rings from Honda. I'll leave a part number in the description so you can find those easier. They were only like $3 each. Uh, the bonus footage is coming up next. So be sure to stay tuned and watch that of pulling that cow off. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. What I'm going to do is I'll remove the cowl panel. There's an upper piece and a lower piece, which is metal, and that's going to give me a ton of room. But to do that, I need to turn on the wipers, turn the key on, and when the wipers hit the top of their travel, I'll shut off the key and we'll just leave the wipers there. And then we just need to remove these fasteners. Okay, so let's get this cowl panel off. Just take this rubber molding off. And then you're gonna have some clips. Uh, looks like half of mine are missing from the body shop. They decided it wasn't good enough to have those in for some reason. So let me show you how to get this panel off. It's this little hook tool right here. Um, seems to work pretty good for things like this and taking
clips and molding out, stuff like that. But these are pretty brittle. It looks like they're going to break on me. That one didn't come out very well. And this one over here, I've got a bunch of clips I'm, I am going to replace. And that one didn't come out very well. And then from here, we come up here. And these are also clips. They'll pop out. Be gentle. There we go. And there we go. So these were the clips that we were pulling out right here. So not a big deal. They just pop out. Now over here is your windshield washer. This is where all the water goes so it squirts. So if you ever got a problem there, you'll just want to make sure these hoses are clean. So I'm going to remove it. I've got like a little pick tool. I got a set of these from Harbor Freight for about $6. Just reach in there, go around it, loosen it up. And then pull it off and bam, this is out of your way. Next up, we're going to remove the upper metal cowl. And to do that, I have one, two, three, four bolts. And then on the other side over here, I also have one, two, three, four bolts. Let's go ahead and get those taken out. All right, so this is what I'm going to use. I've got a 12 millimeter socket on my gun and a 10 millimeter with an extension to get the 10 millimeter bolts. There's one. There's two. And then the 10 millimeter. This one. And then the one back here. There we go. Let's go to the other side. All right, so the same thing on this side. There's one. There's two. There's three. And here's my fourth. And there's actually one extra over here. And let's go ahead and get this one. And then from here, this will just come off. 